and we're back with more Final Fantasy IX. My name's Justin. I'm Jeff. There's been tr a lot of trouble lately. Hmm. Oh, you mean about Bermetia? I heard they were attacked by an army of soldiers wearing pointy hats. Ooh, how suspicious. <laughs> I want to go fight on the front line instead. I'm rotting away in a pla stinking place. Really? I don't like wars, but why would someone start a war? That, that guy who passed through here with the huge bag, do you look suspicious to you? No, I don't think so. But weren't you the one who thought he was suspicious? You know me. I'm always like <laughs> that. I'm telling you. People who eat pickles are nice people. <laughs> Good luck to them. I envy him. Gash pickles are the only pickles I can't eat. You're really confusing, you know that? <laughs> I know. Why do you think I ended up here? <laughs> <laughs> Great way to start off the second disc. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Poor guy. The conductor said we will be arriving at the summit station soon. Trit. Oh. Ahem. Miss Mikasa. Oh, she's something. I'm just talking to myself. Maybe if I could <laughs> see you long enough to leave. <laughs> The princess believes what she heard about Queen Bran. Queen Bran would never start a war. It's all a misunderstanding. She will see that when she talks to the queen. I need not concern myself with such matters. My only mission is to protect the princess. when the car returns to Bowden Station, so... Uh, about as long as you just spend in the car? I don't know what to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go wait in the rest of the area up ahead? <laughs> okay. What's wrong, Stanner? Princess. Hey, what did I say up Come on, to? man. It's Alexandria. We're finally home. Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're home! <laughs> but I can't see the castle! Princess Alexandria may oddly mean that the castle to you, but... Uh... Hey! Are you making fun of me for being naive? No, I'm, I'm not! It's okay, let's go. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> no. Always on someone's case. <clears throat> Welcome to the summit station. Do you know how the cable cars work? Yeah. No. Oh, I actually meant to say yeah, but you know what? Well, whatever. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> what do you got to say? I'm more, of a com I'm more comfortable out here. The rest of the area is full of rowdy men. I want to say by his side, so, but I have my work too. His side? Who are you talking about? Well, it's part time work in my area, so. I guess. This must be the rest area. <laughs> Let us gather information while we wait for the car to <coughs> Alexandria. Okay. What do you got to say? Buddy? I can't believe I'm stuck here, looking in the middle of nowhere. What do you, what do you oh, look, a Moogle. Yeah. Get your supplies together before you cross the border. Cool. I can air racket! <laughs> Well, we don't have that, and we also don't have that. Um, we also don't have that. We do have that. But we don't have that. We don't have any of those.
I am mapping out a plan for the rest of our journey. Okay, you do that. Ooh, that's Nathna. A letter from, from Grimo to Bow. Thanks for the delivery. Yeah, from Grimo to Nathna. I feel so sad whenever I see Mary, that part-time worker. Have you ever fallen in love? I've never fallen in love before, Kubo. If watching someone else in love is so difficult, I wonder how difficult it is to actually fall in love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm never gonna fall in love. It's just not worth it. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. And as a coupon night. Alright, oh, that's safe. What we always needed. Ugh, I don't like falling in love. <laughs> Gosh, my <laughs> Fall in love, flame. <laughs> Anyone can do that. Oh, treasure. Treasure? Whoa! Never found that yet. Dude, that item? It's top quality stuff. That's. <gasps> I missed my ride! What am I gonna do now? You wanna be Marcus? Okay. How the heck should I know? You were the one who wanted to watch the scenery while eating Southgate Bunt cake? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna be late returning to Lumblum. Lumblum. It's nothing we can do. I won't tell the boss. Thanks, buddy. Let's eat another Bunt cake. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> eh, be a man. Scoundrels! Um, hey, what's up? <laughs> Are you here to kidnap the princess again? <laughs> Who's the big tin man? What? How dare you? He's the captain of the Knights of Pluto. Oh yeah, you're the one bad actor. <laughs> Have you no respect? What's up, Marcus? You're Marcus, right? What are you doing here? Princess! <laughs> kind of. what, what are you doing here? When we escaped from the evil forest... Princess! You shouldn't waste your breath with on criminals and... Uh... Yeah, okay, Steiner. <laughs> Princess! Steiner, that's enough! What? I can't even talk to my friends! Friends? But they're... Albert Steiner! Yes, yes, ma'am. Go to your room! <laughs> He's been scolded! How embarrassing. <laughs> the cable car to Alexandria has arrived? It's here, yeah. But you're going to Limbo. I know that, but you're going to Alexandria. Yeah, I'm headed to Trenno. I'll see you off. Yeah, I don't think he understands. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus is going to Trenno too? Let's go, Steiner. Steiner, are you mad at me? We've been kind of being a bitch. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm coming along. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she went a little bit far on that last comment. I know. Tell him to go to his room. He's, Come on. Just, he's been there for the whole time. Wh whatever. Good luck! Yeah, I'll, I'll save our bro. Bro? <laughs> <laughs> Who's their brother? Princess, let us go inside. Say, why is Marcus going to Trenum? That, that is me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is Marcus? <laughs> Are no. you going to Trenum too? Marcus got a deal in Trenum. <laughs> we'll be departing in Alexandria shortly. Yes. You better get on that car. See you, Come on, Steiner. Princess, let us go inside. Steiner. Steiner. Let's go. Oh, gosh, Steiner. <laughs> Break that <down. laughs> Now departing. Kind of stare at each other? I guess so. Kind of like deep in into the each play. other's eyes. Why are you going to travel, Marcus? To save our brother. Who? 
<laughs> There's only one man I call bro. It's blank. We've been here gathering info to cure his petrification. We finally learned about an item called the Super Soft that cures all forms of petrification. What about Sinna? Sinna's going to Tantalus Hideout in Limbo to tell the others. I see. I see. It's ter my turn for questions. Yes? Where's the day? We separated in Limbo. Got rid of him as soon as he got you to Limbo, huh? How can you say that? It's only because the day kept me treating me like a child. I don't care about him. Fine. Then I don't know anything. <laughs> I shall not meddle in your affairs. Thanks. Gosh, that hurt. Say, Marcus, um, is there some any way I can help? Help? What? Well, I was partly responsible for what happened, so. <clears throat> no thanks. Uh, we'll be fine on our own. But wouldn't it be better if? Uh. What? What was that? There yeah, might be engine trouble. Please remain in your seat while I check. It's a demon! A demon with a pointy hat! A pointy hat! Oh, that was Mikasa. Pointy hat! Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I thought it was too. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> No use. It doesn't understand. But let's kill him. Eliminate all. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff there. <laughs> Anyways, so. Yeah, in the last episode, uh, we were talking about Black Lagoon. Yep, we're kind of going through that currently. Uh, we're on episode three. Uh, oh, nice. Got a lightning staff. In uh, episode three, uh, Dutch kind of like starts off by going around town, meeting some of his buddies. You kind of like get the point that he is uh, pretty well known among the people there, yeah. and uh, it's kind of like a... Yeah, so Dutch knows a lot of uh, yeah. other criminals and pirates. And, like, criminal employers yeah. that, you know, hire them to do the dirty work. So, he, it's like Dutch has been in the business for quite a while. Yeah, him he, and, uh, I'm not, I'm not so sure how long Reggie has been in the business. It kind of seems like him and, D or her and Dutch got together some... Yeah, D Dutch has probably been, he may have even like been uh, working for someone else back yeah. then. Before he he was working with Trevi. Yeah. So well, he's been in it a lot longer. Than he he might have like grown up in it and then like, yeah, yeah maybe he, his employer got killed somehow and then uh, then maybe, what, what, then he took over like the job and like found uh, what's his name Revy and uh, Benny yeah and Benny I'm sure that's I, I am curious how they met Benny we haven't got too much backstory on him yet but what I'm happy about is that we got more backstory on the other characters like like Dutch and Revy yeah Revy uh, after Dutch is done going throughout the town they uh, get a job which turns out to be fake but yeah they go on the job and uh Revy shares a little bit about herself like uh, she asks why like what uh Rock did in his job beforehand and uh basically Rock's like it's 
basically down, down to like the head office guys. Like, yeah. He he'd do a little bit of work, but that's what he did mostly. He was mostly uh, their their his boss and bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, like, beat him when he was drunk. And come on, how how low can you go? Exactly. And then uh, Revy was like, I don't know how you can do that. Pretty much. Yeah, without just mapping at him. Like, yeah, and then she was like, and the answer. Rock Gamer was like, well, you know, you gotta do it. You don't want to live all, all don't the live on the streets like a yeah. ball. And she's like, well, I've pretty much done everything that's been bad, considered bad, so. <laughs> Just the different views, really. That's what I do like about the show. Different perspectives from each character. Like, yeah. They all got their different backstories, which is, yeah, it's pretty common. It's common. Why? Why so much anger? What did he want with me? Princess! Brumisia was attacked by an army of black mage soldiers. I know. Those mages wiped out people of Brumisia. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? Are you serious? How ignorant can you be? What do you mean? Stop it, Steiner! I know who did it! Princess! We're almost in Alexandria. I must go to the castle and see my mother. She'll listen to me. Oh boy. I don't know. I just don't know. I think we're almost there. So, you are already heard about the attack on Brumitia? Of course. I'm not like Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> You've changed. Me? Me? <laughs> you mean the way I talk? Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that. Well, <laughs> well, a lot of that. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. Yeah? I've been through a ton of battles. I'm a seasoned pro now. <laughs> really? What are you talking about? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find a super saw and save Blake, right? You're going to come along even if I refuse, right? Of course. I'm... <laughs> I'm... This is so exciting. I'm just not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to see the marvelous architecture of Treadow. I can hardly wait. Uh, the second thought she didn't <laughs> change that much. Always been this annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Did stain <Stacey>. see <laughs> They can! They okay? Mm -hmm. Which way is left and which way is right? <laughs> Gosh. Anyways, we'll be back with more Final Fantasy 9. Yeah! <laughs>